In today's video, we are revisiting one of Grant's favorite classic videos, how to make magic mud and how can we mix it up. Guys, Grant had been working on making a book for several months and he got it to a point where it was almost entirely ready to go and we now have sort of an advanced reader's copy that shows what it looks like. It has all the projects listed in it. There's some copy editing <laughs> that still needs to happen. But for the most part, this is what the final book will be like. It has 52 very cool projects all based on things that we've done here on the channel. And today, we wanted to let you know about this and to try out one of the cool projects in this book and see if we can even take it to another level. Here's the basic idea. Grant was working on an amazing book for several months that he was really excited to release. Today we are actually going to be using one of the experiments in this book, Making Magic Mud, and seeing if we can make any alterations to it. Guys, the book 52 Random Weekend Projects comes out March 10th, but we would love to get some momentum going to hopefully get it on the New York Times bestseller list, so we do have pre-orders open and a little bonus for those who do. Guys, if you want to pre-order this book, go ahead and take a picture of your receipt and send it to 52randomprojects at gmail.com and we will be selecting a random winner every week to receive a free t-shirt. So the key here is that it's made out of potatoes and this tells you a method of how to extract the starch from the potatoes and then mix it with water, including how to mix it with a few things that will give it a nice ultraviolet glow. So we are going to follow the instructions found here in our book and we're going to see if we can make this magic mud. The description is, this magical mixture handles like pizza dough, but the instant it goes still, it liquefies and melts into a glowing goo. So we are going to try and make this. Um, we may even try changing the order of a couple of things just for the sake of speed for doing it all in one day. But we're going to follow along with this and see if we can't make some magic mud. Yeah. Should be cool. We have 10 pounds of potatoes. We have many much Ten potatoes. Oh. First step is to wash the outsides of the potatoes. We don't need all of the dirt that's on the potatoes. So I actually want to do three batches of this. Be a lot. And uh, yeah, I think we'll just, one batch will be filling the food processor and we'll just do that three times. Oh, I very much enjoy this. This is a lovely little tool. How have we never had one of these before? I very much enjoy this. There's a few potatoes. Now we're using a food processor for this. If you don't have a food processor, you can just chop your potatoes up with a knife. It's still gonna work. Yes. Wonderful. Fantastic. So our next step is to add water, enough water that it covers the potatoes. But one of the keys to making the magic mud glow is that traditionally you make it with normal water and then after you're all finished, you let it dry out and then you add some tonic water, which has quinine in it. Quinine glows blue under a black light. We don't want to let it dry out for two days. We wanna see if we can do the whole thing in one day. So we're just going to use tonic water from the very start. That's the liquid that we're gonna to use to try and extract the starch out of the potatoes and hopefully it works just as well. Yeah, the carbonation is definitely not a necessary part here. In fact, if we had a way to get rid of it, I guess we could have vacuum chambered it, but it'll go away as we stir. If you've never tasted tonic water, uh, the quinine is something that's long been held to have medicinal properties, and it may in fact have medicinal properties. It's disgusting. It's horrendously bitter. Uh, this is usually used as a mixer for the things, and I don't know why you want to add a bitter note to it, but apparently you do sometimes. However, We've got a couple of thoughts. The magic mud as originally shown, because it has the quinine in it, it does glow blue. For instance, we can show you if we just take our uh, black light and shine it right on our tonic water, you can see how beautifully that lights up. That's what the quinine does. It's very cool. I bet we even have some, uh, oh, there's yeah. some blue glow right there. It's a little confused because it's mixed in with foam and potato juices. But for our other two, the goal is to have two other colors and I think we found a couple of recipes that should give us some other colors. We're hoping for a yellow and even a sort of reddish pink which I think will be a pretty muted color. It might end up being more on just the white side but hopefully a little bit of pink will be able to show through. There so to go. get those colors we are going to boil <laughs> this very terrible 
tearable <laughs> bag of spinach and some ground turmeric. We're just gonna put these in a lot of water, boil them for a while, and then filter off all of the extra spice and leaf and just get the water out. And then we're gonna pour those into our other bowls to hopefully get other colors. At this point it says you can grab a strainer and another large bowl and separate the potato water from the potato pieces. So I think now we're just hoping take that the starch, of, yeah. Yeah, you take pour it all off into another container. In Grant's video, I believe when he did this, he he took the shredded potatoes that he was done with and he put them in a waffle iron and he made a uh, like hash browns. I don't think he was using his hands to stir it the way I am though. All right, here we've got some of our turmeric water. I'm just going to pour it in and cover the potatoes in it, stir it around for a few minutes, and then separate out all the potatoes. So this is the second time around. We have this one settled. This was our potatoes with our tonic water. Uh, we let it settle. I poured off all of the extra soda water. I've added some more now. I'm gonna let it resettle. But we're only ending up with a small amount of mud at the bottom. Uh, I've never done this one personally, so it's kind of fun to see the amount that we needed to make. This one, it seems to have sort of like two layers, a really thin layer and then a thicker layer. And I think the thin layer is now worth keeping. So I'm just gonna try pouring this quickly too and cool. only keeping the thin layer. We've already got pretty much that consistency. That is correct. All right, let these resettle again. All right, I think these have settled again yep. pretty nicely. We're gonna pour off all the extra. We should have our final product. <laughs> My goodness. I think normally if you were trying to make this stuff, you might use as much potatoes as we did, but all in a single batch instead of in three divided mm -hmm. batches. That would get you more to play with. You'd be able to see it and enjoy it a little bit more, but we really just wanted to try the three colors thing. It really does kind of feel like it is oobleck and it feels a lot like, Grant described it, like pizza dough, trying to mash it and then, yep, seeps right back into liquid. All right, so we have the effect, but this is just a little runny and to make it thicker, there are a couple really easy ways. One is to just wait. The water's gonna evaporate out of it and it doesn't take that long for it to go from wet like this to quite dry. The other method is what we're gonna try in, which is just to add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up just to speed up the process. It's not quite the same texture, at least this one, is not quite the same texture as normal oobleck. It almost feels like more extreme, like it's almost drier while it's moving. And then when I stop, it liquefies, like that runs. I'm actually noticing the same thing with mine. It is like oobleck, but better almost. It is more, yeah, extreme is a good way of putting it. Higher contrast. Mm -hmm. I want to see how well it glows. Yep. So let's lose the regular lights. Okay and turn on all the black lights we have available and see what things are looking like. Well, my heck, this one glows a lot. I think, yeah, I, I believe yours is gonna be a clear winner here. The quinine really does a lot. Wow. Well, okay, that was cool. So, great yep. glow, great glow, <laughs> a little bit. A tiny bit from our spinach I, from our chlorophyll. I think it is even a tiny bit pink, but it's surrounded by purple, so it's like hard to see. But then check out what I've got going on in my hands. Yeah.
I don't know what's gonna happen here. Wow, do they glow. Okay, kinda looks like I'm holding an opal. I'm kinda thrilled about it. You know that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.